guys and welcome back to the wonderful world of the sims 4 my name is abby and today we're doing another speed build this one is a, a 5k house which is just a, a, a house that's under 5,000 simoleons uh i think it actually comes out to like 4,999 exactly and that's not including the lot um this lot doesn't have a whole lot on it so like it, it's a perfect like starter home uh and you know it's really it probably probably be really easy to uh, make it bigger and to uh, add more furniture in it because I think I think a single sim starts out with like what is it, like 20,000 simoleons somewhere in that range so spending just 5,000 on the house itself and the furniture in it uh, would probably be you know pretty easy you know it'd be easy to add some more uh, details to it and uh, maybe even add some more rooms uh, make it more than one story um, yeah it, you could do that pretty easily with this house um, I really had a fun time doing this I've been wanting to do a like a framed cabin like this anyway so I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to do or to attempt to do a house under 5,000 simoleons uh, and it worked out pretty well I mean the the siding of the house since it's roof like it's there's no windows there so like, you save a lot of money doing that uh you know you don't have to put windows everywhere i think i have like two windows on the whole build uh and then you know the roof actually doesn't cost anything um and then like the porch doesn't so um we will make the porches smaller i think i delete the one on the back anyway just because it saves some money not putting uh, I think I had hardwood floors on both of them. So it saves some money not putting hardwood floors on that much space uh, for me to add some more furniture on the inside. So I do uh, get rid of that here in just a little while. Um, I did slow this video down a little bit since it was pretty short anyway. I mean, this took me like 30, maybe 45 minutes to do. And usually I, I mean, it takes me hours for some of my builds. And so usually my builds are sped up to about like, six times the speed that I uh, actually record them at I guess yeah um, but this one is just at like three times the speed so it's a little bit easier to watch this one you know it's not a lot of quick camera movements it is a little slower um, so you can kind of see my thought process for some things uh, you know it's easier to see what exactly I'm doing and like see me testing out different things and you know that's that's the best way to learn how to do something uh, <laughs> As you can see, it's pretty small on the inside, so we really just have one big room and then a small bathroom. Um, I think you could actually keep it the size that it is now. I am going to make it a little bit smaller here in just a few minutes, but um, if you kept it the size that it is now, you can actually fit a double bed in there. And I think it'll still be under $10,000 if you do that. Uh, it should be, but I wanted it to, to be under 5000 so I did... I did make sure to do that so I can only I could only put a single bed in here just because of the size of the house not because I couldn't afford a double bed uh, and you'll see me do that here in just a little while because I do put the futon in from city living at first but then um, the size of like the back of the house is what was kind of taking up more money than I needed it to uh, because I hadn't done the, the kitchen is actually the last thing I did and I mean I probably shouldn't have done that um, and I used very cheap items uh, and they could be easily upgraded uh, to the, some of the nicer items uh, and still be cost effective I guess uh, yeah so we did have several windows here at first but then I deleted those later on I was like nope can't do this <laughs> too expensive um, this was really fun though. I, I like doing challenges like this. Um, I didn't color, like I didn't put the, that paneling on the sides of the house that are up under the roof. So that might bother somebody. Uh, you know, some people get a little bothered if you're missing some, uh, some coloring here and there on some parts of the house, even though you can't really see it, uh, most of the time. Um, with walls, with the walls down view, I don't think that should be an issue uh, but you never know. It, it might be. You might can be able to see where there's, it's just drywall and not the paneling. So you probably would have enough money to actually put that paneling up if that really bothered you. 
So the inspiration behind this build actually was more like a like a hunting cabin or like a fishing cabin. It's it's something just relatively small that you would stay in like maybe a couple of times a year. It wouldn't actually be like a real house. But I mean here in the Sims, you know, Sims can pretty much do whatever. You know, you can torture torture the crap out of them and they're fine. Um, I did have to use those cheap lights there for just a few minutes uh, to be able to see inside the cabin because I didn't have any lights in there. So it was really dark and it was hard for me to see what furniture I was putting in. So I just uh, put those cheap, uh, I think, children's lights in at first, but we get rid of those soon. Don't worry. Those don't stay. Um, actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I was going to say that there might be one in the bathroom, but I don't think so. Um, and I actually had to get rid of the television I'm pretty sure you'll have enough uh, enough money to put a television back in if you want one. Um, but just with the budget that I was kind of limiting myself to, it just, there was no way. I could not have a TV in there. It was way too, too expensive, even the cheap one there. So there's not really, I think there's a bookshelf. So that could, you, you could use that to get your fun up. Uh, but there's no other like electronic type items. And the items that are in the house are really, really basic. Um, a twin bed, uh, the cheap stove, the cheap fridge. Um, there is a space for the television. I did leave like a, like a little table you could put it on, um, but you know I didn't put it put one in there just because of the budget that I was restricting myself to. Um, there is a not quite a fully functioning bathroom because there's no sink in there, but there is a toilet and a shower. And I did use the uh, toilet from. Well, it's not really from a pack. It's one of the toilets that you can actually build yourself if you have, like, the uh, wood crafting skill. Um, so I did use that toilet, and it was the cheapest one. I, I'm pretty sure if you download this lot, though, it's still going to be there. I don't think that that's going to be any problem. And if not, you can always put in the cheat yourself and uh, get that toilet. Um, I think it's just... You would go into build mode and then you would open up the cheat menu and make sure testing tre testing cheats true is on. You would do like testing cheats on or testing cheats true, uh, whichever. And uh, then you would type in bb.ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement and then bb.show hidden objects. So then you would be able to use that toilet, which you know usually could only be built uh, with the wood crafting table. So that's the toilet that I used. Um, and I use a lot of this... A terrain tool because it's free so <laughs> there's actually no like greenery outside of the house which kind of bothers me a little bit but eh, that's okay it's not that big of a deal there's no trees there's no bushes but I mean they cost way too much money <laughs> and I was really trying to conserve it uh, you know you could obviously decorate this place however you wanted to you'd have plenty of money left uh, from like after you started your game and you were if you were using this house as a starter home you would have plenty of money left to decorate this house as you wanted to. Um, I think Ivy on the outside of it would look really, 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 really cool. I was going to say really cute. Like I'm like a 15-year-old girl. I don't know. Um, but it would look really good uh, with Ivy on it. Um, which I use Ivy on a lot of my builds. Because it just, I don't know what it is. I love Ivy. And my dad, like never wanted us to grow it on the house. I've mentioned it several times. Yeah, we should, there's like a, there's a wooden lattice outside the back of my house. And I've told him before, I was like, we should definitely put Ivy on here. We should let Ivy grow on this. And he's like, no, it ruins your house. <laughs> I guess it like, it's really hard to manage. So, um, you know, he likes to have low, low maintenance stuff outside usually. Um, my mom likes to plant a whole lot. So, you know, he, he prefers to uh, only take care of whatever it is that she has out there <laughs> uh, instead of having to take care of like something like Ivy. Um, yeah, like I said, low maintenance stuff. Um, I don't think there is room really for a desk in this house. Uh, like I said, you can you can extend this house really easily, especially if you watched me like how I shortened it and uh, you know made it a smaller space. Anyway, you can just pull it back to where it was originally. And like I said, the double bed just would not fit in that area. So I had to put in a twin bed and, oh well, I mean, only one Sim can stay here. And your Sim probably, I mean, if you want to live in the house as is, you'd probably want to put one of those uh, bushes outside that you could woohoo in. <laughs> because your Sims could not woohoo in the twin bed. Um, yeah. That kind of like blows my mind that they can, they can woohoo in a bush, but not in a twin bed. That doesn't make sense. Does it? Uh... 
I just, I feel like they could make it work if they really wanted to. <laughs> anyway, we're just uh, using some of these fish here that were just like five simoleons a piece to uh, decorate a little bit. Um, I hated not having any decoration in there. So, like I said, I wanted this to look like a fishing uh, cabin or a hunting cabin. So, I did just put those little fish in there and, you know, kind of hope for the best because there's not a lot going on. <laughs> Um, there is a little trash bin on the inside of the house, but there's not one on the exterior just because I could not afford one. So your Sims will have to use the uh, outside trash bins like around the world, uh, and there are plenty of those. Um, I'm in Newcrest building right here, so there's not really one outside of this lot in particular, but there are in uh, ar there they are around uh, most lots. So that would not be an issue if you didn't place this house in the specific place that I placed it. <laughs> Uh, right now I'm just testing to see if there are any cheaper uh, like exterior paneling that looked better and or not looked better but that was cheaper um, but no it just didn't work this one was the best one and <laughs> you could see where I played around with the terrain paint just a little bit to see what I could do but it did not look that good so I just kind of put the gravel back and then I put a little bit of the uh, flower paint around the uh, edges so um, that's about all the decoration that there was. So now we're just in the screenshots and it's nothing much at all. There's like five. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see it's really small in here and I did leave space for the TV. Um, there is a little bit more room, you know, you could add a little things here and there. Um, and you could definitely extend that back portion to uh, put in a double bed. But I want to thank you guys again for watching my video. Um, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below and I will talk to you guys soon.